I got. Are you planning for the top three one registration? Elijah is earning twice this year and I missed the parent volunteer registration. My gosh. And I'm just thinking which school should we send him to, so I thought it would be good to share a summary of what you should look out and plan in advance. Firstly, only one parent residential address on the NRIC need to be used for registration. For parent volunteer, you can start considering volunteering at primary schools when your children are around 4 to 5 years old and check the registration dates application for the school so you don't miss it. Every school has different dates for the application and some may require an interview too. For the registered address on the NRIC, if your child gets into the school because of where you live, then your child will need to live at the registered address for two and a half years until the end of P2. So from registration in July, that same year when your child turns 6 years old, till the end of primary 2. If you need to move during these 2.5 years, you can only move to places nearby, depending on how close you were before, like within 1km or within the 2km category. Also, you are allowed to utilise the caregiver or grandparent's address if both you and your spouse are employed full-time and your child is under the care of a grandparent or a sibling of either parent. You will need to declare this arrangement during the P1 registration process. Only one parent needs to make this declaration. Now, for rental property, you can rent a unit or a room and use the address as long as you can produce the address and live there for 30 months, which is two and a half years from registration to the end of P2. Next, for new developments that are building under construction, you will need to provide the private sales and purchase agreements during the registration. And most importantly, your new home's completion date should be within two years of your child starting P1, meaning by the end of P2, your house needs to be ready for home. The 30 months residency for new developments will start when you move in. If your completion date is close but not exact, you can also try to appeal to MOP. Lastly, for resale property that is still an ongoing transaction in progress, you will need to submit the resale flat status for resale HDB and the exercise option to purchase and buy a stamp duty certificate for your resale private property for your child's P1 school registration. You must move in by the start of your child's P1 admission year and the 30 months starts from the P1 admission year. Still feeling overwhelmed by the primary one registration process in Singapore? Let us guide you every step of the way. Follow us for more expert insights and fast hacks and helpful advice on navigating your registration journey. Don't miss out on securing your child's spot. Start planning with us today.